Hello you guys, welcome back. Today I have a Windsor try on haul to share with you guys, which I'm excited about. I feel like I always say I'm excited, but but it's been a little bit since I've done one from Windsor. So I have a whole roundup of cute summer finds to share with you guys. So stay tuned if you wanna see. As always, everything will be linked down below, but let's go ahead and get started, jump right in. So the first piece that I have is this cute little baby doll dress. I wore this last weekend um, out to dinner and she was so cute, she was so comfy. I love this piece so much. I feel like it's so underrated having a cute little summer dress to throw on and this one is perfect. It comes in three colors, this pretty blue, white, and then it comes in a yellow as well. And I'm wearing an extra small. Um, I love the neckline of this. It's just a little sweetheart neckline, it has some ruching right here in the middle. And you can tie it in a bow like I do, or you can wear it as a halter, which I thought was super cute. Um, the length is really nice as well. And the like skirt part, actually the whole thing is double lined. So you feel nice and comfy in this, but it's just very breezy, very light, very cute. There's a a zipper in the back for easy on and off and lengthwise I feel like it's perfect a nice little throw on and go mini dress and I wore this with sandals last weekend but I think if you wanted to dress it up a little bit more you could pair this with heels and she would be super cute as well but so simple but an essential and I really like the style of this I like how the top is fitted and then the body is just loose very flattering in my opinion and just easy to wear then I have another little mini dress I actually have a lot of dresses in this haul if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail um, this one is so cute another that I consider a basic and just essential to have for summer and also super transitional piece into fall as well. I was really excited when I was able to get my hands on this because I've been trying to get this dress for a while. Um, it's super popular on their site. It usually comes in a ton of other colors and usually uh, they are sold out. So I've been waiting for a restock and finally got it. This is one of the most comfortable dresses ever and I feel like it's really really flattering um, it's great quality and material in my opinion and it's double lined which I personally love it just hugs to the body so well and because it is double lined like this I feel like that's what makes it look so flattering because it just kind of hugs in all the right places and just smooths everything out compared to like a thinner rib material which maybe doesn't lay as well um so i'm wearing an extra small in this i love the fit of it um it's bra friendly and i feel like the length is really good this is one for me that is just so easy to pair with sneakers and just kind of throw on and go um or you could easily dress this up and i think it's a really good dress for layering as well whether it's with blazers or like flannel a jean jacket anything like that I just feel like you can do so much with this and it's super inexpensive pretty sure this is like $35 or less so it's just a good little closet staple that I feel like everyone should have and I will be patiently awaiting restocks on some of the other colors so I can grab more I really want the white and then they usually have some like other neutrals uh, as well, which I think are gonna be cute for fall. I just loved the colors and like pattern on this next one. I thought it was so summery, really cute. It reminded me of Miami actually, and I wish that I would have had this dress while we were there because I think it would have been perfect, but definitely a very fun like tropical, beachy, summery little piece, and it's super, super comfy. Um, it's ruched down the entire thing, which I think is usually pretty flattering, and it's double lined as well. So it's kind of like same deal as the last dress, just really seamless, form-fitting to the body, kind of smooths everything out, and just like very pretty. It has dainty little straps. They're not adjustable, but they're super stretchy um, and they fit perfectly. I'm wearing an extra small in this. I will say though, this dress is right on the cusp for me in like needing to go up to a small. So I would say if you are in between sizes, like definitely just go ahead and go up on this one, um, mainly just because it is so tight around, um, which I don't mind, but again, I feel like it's right on the cusp here just like needing to have a little bit more room um, it's very flattering overall especially with it being like a tight form fitting dress but 
but if she was even a centimeter tighter, it would not work. I wouldn't even be able to get this on, but this is one that doesn't have any zippers or buttons or anything. You just kind of slide right into it, which I like. And I think the length on this is really good as well. I just paired it with heels and I feel like this would be such a cute little dress to wear going out to drinks, maybe like a fancier date night, something like that. I've been really into brighter colors in my wardrobe lately, so I felt like this just kind of fit right in. So this next dress is really, really cute, but I'll be honest, you guys, it's not the best quality, um, which is really unfortunate because I love this style of dress. I had super high hopes for it. Um, and again, I think to the eye and at first glance, it looks very, very cute. And I love the style of this, but for someone who is wearing it, it's just not the best quality. The dress itself has stretch, but it's really hard to get on because these seams around the halter here, the bottom here, and around this dress part um, do not have any stretch. So it makes it very, very hard to put on because you have to slide into this and or put it over your head. Um, and it just was super difficult to do so. The other thing is the material is not super thick. So I feel like it's a tad sheer, a little see-through. I don't love that. I definitely wouldn't wanna go no underwear in this, but at the same time, like I have on nude underwear, I do feel like you can kind of see it. Um, I'm sure there's a pair out there that would work and like would be fine, but Anyways, just wanna put all that out there. I feel like if you need a dress like this for just like a super quick occasion and don't wanna spend a lot of money on it, then this would probably be a good option. But if you're looking for something that is, you know, really nice quality that you're going to feel super, super great in, like maybe pass on this one. Um, the necktie up here also doesn't have a lot of string to it, like it's very short for being a halter, which I thought was odd. Um, so keep that in mind, but it is bra friendly, barely though. However, if you are a little bustier like me, I would worry that the bottom of my bra may start to come out. Um, but overall, she's bra friendly. I'll share the back. It does get covered and it's open. Again, this whole style I think is so, cute and i have a couple other dresses from different places that are this sort of style the halter midi with the cutouts um and again i love it this just compared to those and from other ones i have is just like not not my fave material okay completely switching up the vibes from the dresses have this cute little outfit i've been wanting this beaded corset top forever and i finally grabbed it i think it is so pretty, so feminine, just really romantic and girly. And, and it's like a lot, but it's not. If that makes any sense. I don't know how to explain it, but I just love the vibes of this. I've seen it styled so beautifully on their website and then by, I don't know her actual name, but I know her Instagram handle is Talia Cupcake. And I love seeing all the outfits that she has worn, beaded corset tops or this exact one um, as well with different outfits. So I thought I would get it and just like play around with it, see what works for me. So I styled it with these paper bag shorts that I picked up from Windsor as well. Um, I haven't worn paper bag shorts in a really long time, but I liked these because of the color of them. They're like a sagey sort of ocean green. So I felt like they just gave a different vibe than like a denim paper bag short, if that makes sense. I just like the look of them. And I think the two of these paired together are really, really cute too. By the way, I'm wearing an extra small in the corset top and you can remove the straps. And I'm wearing an extra small in these shorts too, or small if they only come in a small. I'll double check of course and put it down below. But um, yeah, both pieces fit really well well um the corset i don't even know if i'll be able to show you in the back but it has a ton of different hook options i think there's like four rows of four hooks um so you have different options there and then these shorts i feel like they fit really nicely in the waist i like the length of them a lot they have little pockets in the back too and i think these also come in purple if you want more colors but to me green is a neutral in my book and in my closet so i had to snag these but i just paired it with heels 
I think it would be cute as like a brunch outfit on vacation. Would I wear this in my hometown? Um, no, probably not because the stairs I would get, it would burn a hole through me. But if I was in another <laughs> place, another city, I think this would be cute. And um, even as like a transitional outfit, if you were to throw a blazer on with this, like maybe a white blazer, I think that would be so cute as well. And this is the last piece. I picked up these denim shorts and I think they're so cute. These were only $35, so super affordable. And I'm wearing an extra small. Um, I like the fit of these. I think the size that you get definitely depends though on how you like your denim shorts to fit. Um, for example, the extra small fits perfect in the waist, but it is a little bit more like fitted to my thigh. I think if you wanted them to fit more relaxed, then it would make sense to size up. So hopefully that makes sense. But um, they have a raw hem, like very minimal distressing here in the front. And then like this little part here on the side it is a button fly, which I am always a fan of. I love button flies. I just think they look so classic and I just like the feel of them. Um, and then here is how they fit from the side. So the waist is really nice. I like the length of these. They are like definitely cut off denim shorts. So again, if you want a pair that has a little bit more length, I think it would make sense to try to size up on these, but I really like how these fit. And then pretty simple in the back and the raw hem just kind of carries around. So love these so very much. Um, I had a top that I had gotten to go with these. This top is not from Windsor, uh, but sadly she does not fit. It was a white Swiss dot corset style top that hooked in the back. I made the mistake of getting a small and the straps are not adjustable. So it just is way too big. Doesn't even make sense to try to show you guys. Um, so now we know I am a true size extra small in the corset tops that do not have adjustable straps. Anyways, that wraps up and concludes this haul in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up from Windsor. Let me know if you want to see more try-ons from them. I always love their stuff. I think here recently I just was struggling because so much of what I wanted was um, out of stock in the size that I needed. So it took me a little while to get you guys a haul from here. Let me know if you enjoyed this and want to continue seeing more and let me know where else you want to see a haul from next. But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for tuning back in and watching and until next time. Oh, you be touching.